Yo, good afternoon, viewers of YouTube. My name is Tyler of Chico Crypto, and welcome to my channel where I drink a beer and talk crypto. And it's called Crypto and a Cold One. Today's featured brewski is Midtown Station Amber Ale from, what is that? Iron Line Brewing Company. Let's give it a go. Holy macaronis! Did not see that coming. Hmm. Oh, whoa, I like it. A poppy beer, and it tastes good. So I decided to do away with the tower. I know whoever's watching is going to be like, oh, the tower's down. Give me a Neo. So yeah, but the new game we're playing. Tower's boring. Takes too long. New game for all my videos. So that cup right there, every cap I pop off, I'm going to have to make it in like the bottle cap game. If I don't make it in, I have to give the first person who comments on the video some crypto. So, here we go, and I'm not retaking these. Crypto, baby. Next time I gotta do it harder. So, the NEO Smart Economy is ramping up with another semi-cryptic tweet from the NEO Foundation. Here's the tweet right now. And this time, there is a bit of English, but two-thirds of it is still in Chinese. I really gotta learn Chinese, guys. So, from a rough translation from my phone, this is what I got. Not noisy, not busy, not, not SEO. It's time, China letters. Let's just say Google Translate on my phone sucks because that doesn't make any sense. Looks like I found someone who could give a semi-translation. It says, don't argue, don't panic, don't worry. It's time for a while to open Neo in the new era of decentralization. So the other side of the tweet has more Chinese phrases translated into English on the bottom. No innovation, no decentralization, no communication. We've heard many voices of no over the past. While the market changes, Neo Vision remains unchanged. From the first step of decentralization, a new era of Neo ecosystem is about to unveil. And you know what that means, folks. Neo nodes will become decentralized and a new era of the smart economy is starting upon us. If we switch over to the cryptic tweet on the Chinese side, below the words is a date, 2018 4 2100 GMT. I have a feeling he's going to release some big stuff. Tomorrow will go down in history as Neo's Independence Day, July 4th. Let freedom ring, let the green bull sing, let the whole world know that today is a day of reckoning. Let Neo be strong, let F be wrong, get that shitty ass away, let the scammers pay, it's Independence Day. <coughs> Sorry about that. So back to the news. Neo 3.0 white paper is going to be released soon. I think sometime in July. And it looks like a leak on GitHub revealed some of the enhancements. First, there is refactoring. Second is manifest and permission system for Neo contract. Third, they are adjusting the system pricing model, such as the fee for releasing an asset contract. Fourth, they are adjusting the economic model, divisible Neo. Fifth, they are implementing a new API for Neo Contract, the system runtime and platform. Sixth, they are refactoring the code for stability and transactions per second. Seventh, there are more APIs for the smart contracts. Eighth is a general increase of transactions per second. Ninth, there is a discussion that migration costs should be cheaper. Tenth, there is going to be a new type of storage paid smart contracts. And finally, storage and deletion must be free, I'm assuming for the smart contracts. So everyone, I have said this earlier in my Chico Crypto Telegram chat. We are in the development central right now with Neo and Ethereum. I have a feeling a lot of these new protocol layers with revolutionary tech, which it might be, won't survive long term. They missed the boat and the established protocol layers will reign supreme. Ethereum and Neo ain't going anywhere. These are two solid picks for long term gains. So I have a feeling a new wave of gains will show itself because most investors are following the lead of ICO, 10X, new protocol layer, whoop fucking do. 
The amazing dApps on these established protocol layers will be the one who, if you find them now, will make you a shit ton of money long term. So let's find those motherfuckers. The first one I would like to highlight and discuss is the most utilized dApp in the first DEX on the NEO blockchain, Switchio. So the Switchio DEX is one of those undervalued gems that no one is talking about. For the volume the Switchio DEX is doing, this project's valuation just shows how irrationally stupid the crypto markets can be at times. Out of all the exchanges listed on CoinMarketCap, centralized or decentralized, Switchio is ranked 144th. So let's look at some DEX coins and see their volumes. Waves Decentralized Exchange is awesome and another DEX I love. It's ranked 73 of all exchanges and is doing $6.8 million of volume a day as of July 3rd. The Waves asset market cap is over $302 million. In my opinion, this seems like normal positioning. But let's move on to Seller, who has a market cap of nearly $4 billion. But their DEX is only doing $265,817 of volume a day, which seems kind of out of whack for the size and scope of Seller. They do have a new DEX on the way, which should see a ton of volume increases as the UI and usability improves. Seller's project is ever-encompassing, as well as being Jed McCaleb's improved decentralized version of Ripple, so that comparison isn't necessarily fair. This is a comparison I like to highlight. Kyber Network, whose market cap is over $139 million, with a measly $91,142 in volume per day. Now let's look at Switchio, a market cap of just over $9.1 million, and doing nearly three times Kyber's volume. Does this make sense? No, but for those who are aware of what NEO is going to do, there will be plenty of assets to make volume with, and Switchio is on the forefront of grabbing all that volume. Oh, and by the way, Switchio version 2 is coming soon, and version 1 was already pretty slick. And by the end of the year, they plan to have fiat gateways. The deal with Switchio keeps getting sweeter and sweeter, and I am sure picking it up. So the next NEO asset I would like to highlight just completed their private beta of their platform, Effect.ai. So Effect Force is their product and it's a decentralized mechanical Turk. In the 48 hour beta, over 200,000 tasks were completed with only 600 workers. And this was just a glimpse of what the platform will grow into. And the beta went flawlessly with no major problems. I see this project being highly utilized in the future smart economy. Thus, looking at its current valuation of just $5 million got me licking my chops. So, QLC Chain, a NEO project I have fully supported since its release, keeps on impressing. They continually are updating their MVP and they are working on some big technology improvements. They recently released their yellow paper for their new dual consensus model, which includes block lattice technology. I'm not the biggest fan of the tech, but maybe there's something there, as they have said they have improved the technology with multi-dimensional block lattice that will support the smart contracts and their new dual consensus. The consensus is a combination of delegated proof of stake for transactions and their own in-house Shannon consensus for the storage nodes. The QLC in their yellow paper is very detailed and goes into the algorithms behind each thought process. I would recommend giving it a read if you're interested in those type of things. And the final NEO project I would like to highlight is Alpha Kitty, or actual name is Alpha Cat, but I like kitties better. So AlphaCat has a solid project and a detailed target market, crypto investors. They're focusing on providing AI forecasting for traders using thousands of AI bots. They already have a working BTC prediction and forecasting model with F and NEO predictor on the way. So the AlphaCat forecasting engine, which core is being developed by Dr. Liang Li, is almost done. And the AlphaCat store will be launched this quarter. AlphaCat has some poor Western marketing, but with another bull run, they should be able to gain some help. I would say this is the riskiest of the three because of this. Well, viewers, NEO and the utility-focused dApps with real-world adoption scenarios is what I'm focusing on. Of course, Ontology, their dApps, as well as Elastos and their dApps. I might be doing a video for each Ontology and Elastos here soon. Cheers, and as always, I need to finish this beer and see you tomorrow.